Well, welcome back to our fourth teaching in um, this final week of Jesus' life. It's a holy week in real time. This is uh, maybe the most impossible task yet. We, uh, pages of scripture, uh, chapter after chapter really is contained in what happens uh, on this Thursday uh, prior to Jesus' ultimate crucifixion. Um, G, uh, Peter and John have been sent out to secure a room. They need a room in order to observe Passover. The Passover. Mm -hmm. uh, and then during that Passover, something very, very um, significant happens. Uh, he gives the disciples a bath. Yeah. No, he, he washes their feet. Right. And you think, well, okay. But, but really the importance is it's, he's, he's explaining to them through the foot washing about how he came to make them clean. Uh, not just my feet, but my you know, hands and head also, Peter says, but no, that's not it. It's, it's about a different kind of clean, and, and he's going to show them that. So they, they begin to eat. And about service. That's right. That's exactly about right. Serve one another. And so they begin to, they begin to eat, and, and then this issue of betrayal comes up, mm -hmm. and, and that just sparks everyone's attention that's in the room. Because everybody's wondering if somebody's going to betray. Is, is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, ultimately, we find through the discourse, it's it's it's, it's Judas, and Judas mm -hmm. is dispatched to do what he in those words yeah. do what you must do. Yeah. So, Cheryl, you want to? There's so many um, episodes in this in these final chapters, but Cheryl, you want to begin with uh, uh, verse 26 of. Uh, Matthew 26. I, I sure will. You know, I think it's easy to overlook what a full day this was for Jesus. Mm. And his human. Mm -hmm. yes. um, mm -hmm. It was a very long day. While they were eating, Jesus took some bread, and after blessing, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take ye, this is my body. Then he took a cup and gave thanks and mm -hmm. gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood mm -hmm. of the covenant, which is to be shed on the behalf of many for forgiveness of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until the day that I drink it new with you in the Father's kingdom. Boy, that's a promise, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. That's right. And after a singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Yeah. The last, the Passover had always had a, a corporate or what we call a corporeal uh, effect. Mm -hmm. It was for all the Jews right. because God liberated them from bondage and slavery and control of Pharaoh. Yeah. But but here he's talking now about the the bread and the cup being his body and blood. And this is something completely foreign to them, mm -hmm. but yet he's beginning his teaching and his continuing his discipleship with them. Right. And so it's going to take them a while to put all this together. Mm -hmm. um, so he shifts from this very, very appropriately to prayer. Yeah. He's through, he's through talking. He's, he's, he's through teaching at this point, and now he wants to pray. He needs to pray. Yes. And so uh, that's the next section. And if we had time, we would flip over to John 17, yes. where we see the high priestly prayer, mm -hmm. where he prays for all believers and he prays for his disciples. And, mm -hmm. and so if you have time, make John 17, yeah. but we won't go into that here. They leave to head to the Mount of Olives. And that's where the, the, uh, the prayer takes place. Mm -hmm. And he's, He's praying, but also something else happened. He's, he's waiting. Who is he waiting for? Mm. Well, he's waiting for Jesus, I mean, Judas, to do what Judas has departed to do. Right. And so, isn't it amazing? He's not just waiting in the upper room. He's waiting on his knees, sweating droplets of blood, praying, yes. knowing that Judas and the, 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 the soldiers... Yeah. are going to show up, and they're going to show up very, very soon. Mm -hmm. So you want to read, um, sure. 30, I think it's about 36, maybe through 41, mm -hmm. or, or, or thereabout. That's in Matthew 26. Okay. 
Then Jesus came with them, his, his, all his disciples, mm -hmm. to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. Yeah. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Je Zebedee and began to be grieved and distressed. Wow. Isn't it interesting how he, he lets those guys in on, you know, the transfiguration. He lets them see him raise the, mm -hmm. the little girl from the dead. They, they had special opportunity yeah. with Jesus. And then he said to them, my soul is deeply grieved to the point of death. Remain here and keep watch with me. Mm -hmm. And he went a little beyond them and he fell on his face and prayed saying, Father, my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but your will be done. Mm -hmm. And he came to the disciples and he found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, so you men could not keep watch with me for one hour? Mm -hmm. Keep watching and praying that you may not enter in temptation the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah. So he's going to pray again, and then soon, uh, though it's 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 dark, it may be close to midnight mm -hmm. uh, or thereabouts. Um, the darkness is going to be invaded by light, but not a holy light. Yeah. It's going to be the light of the army that's come mm -hmm. to arrest him and Judas to ultimately betray him for a yes. few pieces of, of silver. So we see that he has been praying in the garden, but he's also been waiting for the will of the Father to be done and completed and executed. Mm -hmm. And so he's waiting, but he's also fulfilling yes. his coming to atone and to redeem and to reconcile and forgive. Let me close with verse 20, 56. I know that, um, you have something, Cheryl? Well, did you want to read that scripture? Uh, yeah, read 47 through 50. Okay. And while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the 12, came up accompanied by a great multitude with swords and clubs mm -hmm. from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now, he who was betraying him gave them a sign, saying, Whoever I shall kiss, he is the one, seize him. And immediately he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Rabbi, and kissed him. Mm. And Jesus said to him, Friend, isn't that interesting? He called him friend. Mm -hmm. Do what you have come for. And they laid hands on Jesus and seized him. Yeah. Uh, the 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 lamb silent before the the slaughter. Um, he doesn't give a lecture, uh, but we can see how deeply moved he is. Even even knowing what what Judas is is going to done and going to do and what he has done. Mm -hmm. uh, let me close with verse fifty six. Um, Matthew records this, but but all this has taken place. And I, I plead with you, go back and read mm -hmm. this account. Uh, just read all of Matthew 26 mm -hmm. so that you'll you'll know what all this that is taking place because we've left out so much that the prophets might be fulfilled. And then and then those that is really they're very heavy words. Mm -hmm. The disciples all left him and they fled. Mm -hmm. He is he is all alone at this not a dramatic moment, but at this uh, pregnant, this full moment in his life. Um, there's going to be a mock trial. And there's going to be Peter's denial and things are going to move rapidly towards the cross. So we hope we've given you enough of the, 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 the historical account uh, that it's going to cause you to go back and reread either John 17 or Matthew 26 or Mark 14. So uh, Lord bless you and, and keep you and prepare you spiritually yes. um, for this Easter, really resurrection weekend. Yeah. Um, Friday's coming, but so is Sunday. Yeah. Isn't <laughs> and, that wonderful? Yeah, <laughs> and we look forward uh, to not have such a somber tone and teach it with the, the joy and 
wonder. Yeah, victory that comes only in Jesus. Well, God loves you, and we love you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. Ciao.